Ah, good morning, everybody. Nice to see you guys here. Thanks for coming on and checking out this video. We are out on another adventure today. Turn the camera around. This is barbecue over there. Although today's adventure is not about shopping or reselling or wrestling or anything like that. We are at Woodman's 24-hour grocery store. And today's video is about food. <laughs> but in order to cook the food, you got to go get the food, right? You guys know that. So we're going to take you on our adventure inside and show you what we're going to buy today. Take you home step by step. Show you how we're going to cook it. So let's go inside and see what we can find, shall we? <laughs> Am I taking the cart? Okay. I want the cart. Okay. If you don't want the cart, I'll take it. No, you can take it. Okay. <clears throat> I've always got my hands full, but that's okay. Yeah. So for those of you that aren't really familiar with what Woodman's is about, it is a chain that is actually owned by the employees. They all take stock and everything like that in the store. So we like to shop here. The prices are usually pretty good by comparison. We're going to check them out. They have a clearance aisle sometimes over here, but are those any good? They're just water. No, oh, just water? She just buy them all? Ah, they're expensive. I mean, 69, here, let me show you. This is water, buy water. I don't know. I don't know nothing about this, but we like water. So we'll get a half a dozen or so. Just see. She's over there checking out some of the other stuff. All right, let's get back to the shopping. Now today we're going to take on a little bit of a project. We're going to be cooking outside, but it's not going to be an all-day project because it's too dang cold. <laughs> we're going to go check out uh, what we might need for this project. Let's go see what we got here. And they got a real good selection in this store too. So you can pretty much find a whole variety of choices that you might want. Now we're going to need some buns. And you can get whole wheat buns and you can get all kinds of different ones. What kind of buns do you want? I got a couple of things that I think. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I just figured it out. Hawaiian buns. Heck yeah. We're going to get those. Them are Hawaiian. Hey, what, what are you doing getting hey, Snickers bars? They're, they're 45 cents. Oh, they're on clearance. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What, 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 what? No, we're not here to buy cake. They got a great selection of cake and pie and sweets in here, but we're not here for cake. Not sweets today. We're here to buy food for the cook today. Okay. Right. Oh. Why are you Well, because it's in the store. Yeah. Um, we need bread too. That's a good bread. Okay. Do you want anything in particular for the uh, toppings on this? Um, cheese. Okay, um, but that's onions. not in this apartment. Onions. We definitely need onions. All right, so we'll get some onion. I mean, we got pickles at home, I think, don't we? Yeah. I don't know. You want any lettuce? Nah, I'm not a big on the lettuce. Okay. We don't need tomatoes because neither one of us needs mm. tomatoes. But if you wanted tomatoes, you, 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 you put these together how you'd like to have them. No. We're just picking out the things that we like. We probably need some more garlic too, though. I think we're out, right? Yeah, we are. I used okay. last All right. Why don't you go look for garlic? I'll go get an onion. I can figure out where the onions are. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here's onions. All right, I gotta set you down for a minute while I get an onion. All right, so we got a just one medium-sized white onion. We'll be using that today as well. And now we're gonna go see if we can find Mrs. Barbecue. <coughs> oh, look at there! Look at there! Sliced pickles, two for three dollars. Yep, I'm all about pickles. We like pickles. Let's go see if we can find her. We're supposed to be going to the cheese aisle. Oh, jeez. Look at, look at where she is. Look at where she is. No, no cookies. We're not buying cookies today. Vegetables and food to cook. <sighs> you see, you see what I got to put up with every time. I mean, I. Yes. No, we're not buying cookies. Here I am trying to get her to go over to the, the vegetables and get the things like that, and she's over here trying to look at cookies. All right. 
Okay, what's next? Let's go over here. Here we go, we gotta go over this way. Let's see what they got over here. We gotta get some ground hamburger. Ground meat time. Let's go see what they got for fresh beef. They got fresh beef. So my personal favorite is 85.15. So that's what we're gonna be looking for. We got 80.20. Unfortunately, I can't see the packages very well. Okay, those are 8020. Those are 9010. Those are 964. Holy moly. These are, oh, here, 85. Perfect. And there's about three and a half pounds. So that'll be great. That'll be a perfect package for us today. It's about three and a half pounds, 8515 ground, ground beef. Wonderful. Well, uh, she snuck off on me again. I gotta go figure out where she went this time. Always sneaking off on me. Where'd she go? It's really busy in here today, so we're having a little bit of a struggle trying to get her. There she is. I found her. We'll go catch up with her and see what she's doing. You can see there's a lot of people here. Every aisle you go down, there's people here. What are you doing now? Really? What are you doing now? What are you... Uh, Cheetos and Lay's. What part of the vegetables is that? Uh, I'm going to have to put a tighter leash on her so I can get this shopping done so we can get home and cook before it gets dark. All right, <laughs> we'll show you a bit in a minute. Well, here we got a couple of choices of the cheese. We've got Habarti, Habarti, and the mild cheddar. You know, we steer away from, like, American and stuff like that for what we're doing today. Just because I really think it gives it a better flavor, and it's probably a little bit better for you. So. so one of the things you guys have seen us use all the time in a lot of our videos or whatever is garlic. And I look for the garlic and look for the garlic. Can't find it, but look at there. There it is. I found it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> obviously, fresh garlic is the best thing you can use. Sometimes it's not always convenient. But this is ready to use minced garlic, all ready to go. Five bucks for this whole jar. So we're definitely buying that. Twice we did. We walked right by it twice. She didn't even see it, and it was right there. Because I, I use Braille when I look at things. I one thing on my mind. <laughs> Cookies, exactly. <laughs> all right, so we got that taken care of. I think we got just about everything we need for today. Right? Yeah. We got our junk food even. <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna get to the front. We're gonna go look at beverages and then we're gonna get to the front and we'll get checked out. Which sometimes in this store, because of as busy as they are and because the prices are good, whether they're busy so much, sometimes they're very busy up front and it takes a while to get checked out. But we gotta go all the way back down there and all the way over there, find some beverages to take home, and then we'll go to the checkout line. Here's one that hits home a little bit with our group of people that we are on YouTube with and this is really a fantastic deal on these take a look at this these bangs are really good and we've been buying different flavors to try them out but they have radical skedaddle and purple haze and pina colada and champagne and bangster berry and star blast and cotton candy and miami cola and crisp apple oh, candy apple crisp Oof. purple guava pear sour heads Man, they got everything here. We're probably just going to have to buy a whole mess of these things just because. So They even have cases down there, but I have no idea what flavor or how much they are. But, yeah, we're going to load up on these. So there we got our bang. We got 12 different flavors, and we'll try those out. Now we're going to head to the registry. This, this should be interesting. It's very busy, like I said. Lots of people are doing their Saturday shopping. And there is a line of people that goes all the way that way. Over there. Yeah, they got more over there. Lots and lots and lots of it. I think we'll go this way. Easter berry? I don't know if I had that one yet either. You want to get three more? <laughs> no, it's okay. All right. All right, we're going to go find a register to be it. Okay. You can see they have probably 15 registers open and they're all like this. 
it just tells you how busy this place is. And, and you know, to be honest with you, gang, truthfully, this is a great grocery store. They do a good job here. We have other grocery stores in town that do a good job as well. You know, the only problem with this one is because of as busy as they are, it can take time. Nevertheless, we're going to wait our turn. We're going to get through the line, and we're going to go home and cook. Second best part of the day. See you soon. Well, the good news is they opened up this other register right here. We just happened to be in the right place at the right time, so we got a little bit closer to the front. Oh, we got our stuff already, and we're going to be next. Opportunity taken. All right, we're home. We're getting things prepped. We're getting ready to go here, so I'm going to roll up my sleeves a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so we took our medium onion, we cut it up, rings. I took some of the otter-shaped pieces and put them in this pan with a little bit of our minced garlic that we bought. That's going to be for something else, okay? In the meantime, here's our three and a half-ish pounds of ground beef. We mixed up some seasonings. You've seen us do that before. You know, pepper, salt, garlic, onion, a few other goodies that we like. You guys, you know, mix up the flavors that you like, put in the profile that you want. So I like to do it this way instead of grinding it all into the bowl because this way I get a little bit better mix. I'm going to save about half of it just in case. Um, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the old-fashioned way, I'm doing it by hand. Oh, a disclaimer for y'all too, just uh, to be <laughs> forward about it. I'm not as good at shooting video as, as Danielle is, and I did a few spots earlier at the store that I had my hands in the way. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I'll have to have her add the toes out, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, so we get it all mixed, mixed and nice and cute by hand. Now, this would be the point where I would start um, making burgers. Because Michelle said to me, she says, hey, you know what? I just want old-fashioned burgers. Because you make all the fancy meats and all the fancy foods on the grill. It's December, it's cold, so I don't want to be out here for 12 hours smoking things. So we're just going to make old-fashioned burgers. Except there's one problem to that. Can't be simple? Well, it can be in a way. But here's where the issue comes in. I like smash burgers. If you're not familiar with what a smash burger is, you're about to find out. I also like Pete's Burgers down in Prairie du Chien. And I'll show you a little bit of how they cook them. But then I also like a smoked burger. So it's like, well, which one am I going to make today? I'm going to put all three into one. So we had a couple of technical issues by, uh, there it goes, there we go, now she's My avocado oil was frozen, <laughs> so I put it on the grill to warm it up. <laughs> now we've got avocado oil, so we're going to add some of that to our pan. Now if you're not familiar with Pete's Burgers and Prairie Dishing, which I'm sure most of you probably aren't because you're not from Wisconsin, you haven't eaten that. What they do there is they have a big 80 some year old cast iron griddle top. <laughs> and they put on a layer of onions and water and some other goodies and they steam the burgers kind of while they cook them on the griddle as well and they get the onion flavor going in there the whole nine yards right so our rendition of that at home is we're going to use this cast iron pan with all those things in it we're going to warm that up and cook the burger in there to add flavor we're also going to do smash burgers. Now. As you can see, I've got another cast iron pan on here cooking and warming up. That's got a press. So we're going to smash burger. And then, of course, you know, we can put the burgers over here on the side to uh, smoke them as well. All right. So this is going to get a little interesting. But we're using our 22-inch Weber grill today. Because this one's a little more versatile, it's also a little bit of a smaller area to keep warm versus our big smoker you've seen us using lately. So I decided to do this because it's about 25 degrees out right now and it's just bloody cold. Can't feel my fingers. Exactly. We're going to try it that way. Yeah. Rearrange a few things here. Fire should be pretty warm. <clears throat> now here's the secret I'm going to teach you. Let me get my hot gloves on real quick. Um, how do I know if I've got enough seasoning in there, in that meat? To where I like it. I don't, right? I have no idea until I cook the burgers and if there ain't enough. So then it's like, well, geez, that didn't taste very good at all. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat. So 
Let it cheat just a little bit. When you guys uh, do things in the summertime and you got the family, come, the friends coming over, uh, you can do this ahead of time. You can do it while you're cooking, but I'm gonna do it ahead of time. Spend a few minutes, mini burger. Throw in the pan. Smash it. So in about two minutes, three minutes, that'll probably be done. If it tastes tested, if it tastes good to our liking, we make the rest of them. So we'll hurry back. All right, so we got our little tiny test burger done, so I'm gonna give Mrs. Barbecue one piece. And get it. <laughs> See if it tastes like it's got the profile we want it to. It has a little flavor to it. Mm, it's good. It's got enough seasoning, probably. Mm -hmm. Not need to add any more. Mm -hmm. Perfect, there we go, we're ready to go. So we've got our, our pan on there. And that's getting hot, so we can sear these burgers real nicely, or smash burger them. And then we've also got our other pan that's got the garlic and the onions in it. Is getting ready as well. So we got a little over three pounds, maybe closer to three and a half pounds. So we're just gonna kind of wing this and see how many we end up with. Try to get them in even sizes so they'll cook relatively evenly. Of course, I don't know anything about relatives, so. Leftovers are best. Leftovers are very good. We always like leftovers. You don't think that needs any more seasoning? Yeah. Forever now, hold your peace. I mean, you could probably put more. It's well, I'll tell you what, I got, I got an idea what we'll do. A little salt, maybe? Yeah, a little, there's a little salt in there. I did add some salt to maybe it. Maybe a little bit more of that. Do, what we'll do is this. I always like salt. We'll make these into burgers, and then we'll sprinkle them. Add okay. a little bit to the top. Okay. That sound all right to you? Sounds good. Now, when I do a, a burger like this, I always like to get <coughs> an extra mash to really pack it down tight in there. Kind of like you do if you're from the north <coughs> and you make snowballs. That one's a little small. Because you get the gaps out of there and it makes the burger just come out a lot better when there's no gaps in it. Now under other circumstances, I would make these into patties. Probably either put a thumbprint in them or whatever in the middle so they don't turn into hockey pucks. But with what we're doing today, we won't need that. So there are how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven burgers. Three for me, four for you. Oh God, I don't want that <laughs> many. I only get no, one. It's all good. They're probably in the neighborhood of a quarter of a pound, give or take a little. So I'll show you what we're going to do. First things first. We've got to get our handy dandy sprinkler. A sprinkler. We're going to add our seasoning to it. And now I know food cops, what you're going to say is I touched raw meat with these gloves on and now I'm touching the seasonings. Well, guess what? They're all going to go in there and cook. Take a seat. Uh. Sprinkle later. All right, so let's get on to it. Oh, I lost my shoe. There we go. So we've got our pan nice and hot. The press is on there, getting nice and hot. What we're gonna do? Take one of our one of our uh, giant meatball. <laughs> and we're gonna smash burger. We're gonna let that press. Keep that burger continuing to go down as it cooks. We don't have to worry about it swelling up and becoming big and tall as it is round, that kind of thing. We're just going to keep it smashed. Nice burger style. Man, these are, I can't wait. These are going to be amazing. Oh, the sprinkle. Oh, that's a huge burger. Holy moly. All right, well, that's okay. We'll make a big one. A little extra flavoring. We should probably make this into eight because <laughs> that's really big. <laughs> It's okay though. Get a little bit off each one. I'll make another one. Because I think we have eight buns. So guess how many burgers we need? Eight. But who doesn't like big food, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like big food. There we go. One more burger for the road. You know? And you know, there's no exact science to this. You really can't uh, mess it up too much. Very easy to do. You guys have probably all made burgers at home. I'm sure you have. Leave a comment in the chat how you like to make burgers. We're going to show you three techniques in one burger today and see how they turn out. Call McDonald's. <laughs> all right. So we've got it nice and smashed down. Give her a little flip. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See, we're getting that charring on there just a little bit. You can see that there. That's from that hot cast iron pan. That's kind of what we're looking for to get that seared flavor. And again, if you have a Culver's near you, 
they kind of do a smash burger with butter the way they do theirs. It's a little bit like that. Try it out. All right. These shouldn't take too long because although this is a very large burger, they're not uh, real thick, which is kind of what we're going for today. Because we don't want to stand out here and cook them for a half an hour or an hour because we're going to freeze them. That's what we do. So I'm going to leave this medium rare, move it over to here. So I'll get that onion and garlic flavor soaking up into it. On to the next one. Mashing down. A little extra love for this one. I think that's what they do at the peeps too. One. Yep. Smash them into the grill and then throw them in the oven. <laughs> and I'll tell you this right now, especially if you're not really wanting to spend all day out here making burgers, the hot press really helps a lot because it'll kind of cook on both sides like a George Foreman grill in a way. If you're familiar with how that works, right? Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of that too. And the more burgers we cook, the more juice we're going to have, the more juice we'll have over there. I probably should have brought a little water out to add to that, but that's all right. It'll be just fine. I could probably get a water bottle on. Yeah, we could probably do that if we get along to it, but that's, I don't think it's going to hurt anybody. All right, well, we'll fast forward through this. You can see how we make all the smash burgers. I'll have her just keep the camera running just to show what we do. to put the pan with the water and the onions and stuff back on there just because it's so cold out here and I wanted to keep them a little bit warmer as we finish them off over the grill over the hot 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 my fingers are frostbite yeah, I know I think I might get all get frostbite out here the good news is is the cheese don't melt <laughs> like it does in the summer it's true summertime around here the cheese will just it'll melt in the back your hands are numb you can't they open are, any yeah, of them true I used to <laughs> pre-open these so I wouldn't have this problem and yet here we are there's our Havarti. You know, we buy pre-sliced. Now, if you prefer to buy fresh and slice your own cheese or cut the cheese yourself, that's fine. We just prefer to do it this way because it's a little bit easier for us. All right. So to finish these off, what we're going to do, come right back over to hot. And I'm probably going to get try to get like three or four done at a time just so we can get them done and over with. We've got a lot of extra juice, so we're going to get some flare-ups, and that's okay. Just pay attention to what you're doing. Keep your eye on things, and everything will be fine. Here we go. Cheese, cheese, cheese me please. Thank you very much. Now you might have people that don't want cheese. We're from Wisconsin. Only people that don't want cheese are not from Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> it's just teasing. You set these up all you want. If you want to have pickles, if you want to have onions, if you want to have tomatoes, if you want to have any of your ingredients that you can possibly put on there, by all means, make the burgers the way you want them. Because that's what's important. After all, you're cooking them for you, right? Or you and your friends. So, they're pretty hot there. <laughs> it's not going to take very long for that cheese to melt. And then what we're going to do, we brought a little pan out here just to set them in. They're probably going to cool off as fast as I can get them out of there, get the other ones cheesed and done. They're probably going to cool off, so we might have to 
use a cheetah wave inside the house just to warm it up a little bit before we eat it. Mrs. Barbecue got a sample of one that fell off and she said, oh yeah, that's what I want. Sorry about the videotaping. It's just so I'm sucking today. here. <laughs> it's just too cold to be out here doing this. That's why I'm an idiot for doing it. But again, my wife <sighs> wanted burgers. And I am happy to oblige her, even if it makes... Well, she's got to be out here getting punished with me, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a little, little crowd here. There we go. Two more to pull out. Look at that stuff. I'm going to leave that cheese just a hair under melted because we're not going to be able to put them on buns right away. Oh, there. there we go. Look at them. Hey, look at that. If that don't make you hungry, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> or maybe you're vegetarian. I don't know. Yeah. All right. There goes the last two on the fire. cheese going. I'm going to have to get another tray for the other four burgers going because I don't want to, I mean if you want to do doubles, <laughs> great. <laughs> Pile them up. <laughs> I'm either... just going to eat them. Yeah, that's true. Get in my tummy. If you heard me burger, get in my ouch, belly. That's really hot fire. Actually feels kind of good. <laughs> Third degree burns are great on a cold winter day. <laughs> Maybe I'll burn my hand. <laughs> don't do that. I'm just I don't kidding. Want... I'm 9 is not a number I want to call today. Alright. Let me grab another pan quick. I am a horrible photographer. Oh, you're doing a fine job. I just no, just wait till you here. see the picture. I, I'm just <laughs> grateful that you're staying out here freezing to death with me. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it feels good, don't it? <sighs> there we go. Look Toast at that. my hands a little bit. I gotta put my hot gloves back on so I can get this other pan off of the fire. These will be done in just a minute. And then what we're gonna do is we'll probably do a little bit of cleanup work out here. Take these inside, set them up to eat. And we'll show you what the end result looks like. You can see what's going on here. So we'll go, we'll cut the cut the video here. Show you the end results once we get them inside. Oh. So we got it all ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this pan over here closer to the heat because that'll give us um, let this start to steam. And I think I'm going to try putting that lid on there like that. And what that'll do is that you know you guys know how it works. You just put your lid on when you're cooking noodles or something else that needs the steam trap the heat in we're gonna do it that way we're gonna to try to steam them burgers a little bit now I know I told you we we're gonna use three techniques today we're gonna to go down to two we're gonna use the smash burger and the steam onion style I'm not gonna go with the third and the simple reason is it's just too dang cold out here for us to stay out here for another half an hour while the burgers smoke so we're gonna just kind of pass that up try them the way they are see how it goes so we're going to leave the lid on there for probably 10 minutes or so. We'll come back and show you what it looks like when we get there. All right, so we got them steaming in there real good. We're going to take them out. We're going to start prepping them for the final countdown. I'm going to set them aside so they're one at a time. Man, these things are juicy and hot. Get some in too. Got a little underdone in the middle here. Really. That's it. We'll, we'll fix it. Last step. They're still a little bit, a little bit rare on the inside, but we're gonna, we're gonna finish cooking. In just a few minutes here. Mm, look at those onions. Yeah. There they are. We're gonna take this out of the way just so we don't have to deal with that. Make a little room. There we go. There we are. We'll put that aside for now. And our last step we're going to do today is we're going to cheese these things. We're going to sear them on the, over the open heat here or over the direct heat. And we're also going to cheese them. So we'll put a couple on at a time. Save a little time on our cooking. So we're still going to give them that charcoal flavor, that charring flavor, that kind of thing. Um, we'll give them a couple minutes on this side. We'll flip them over, give them a couple minutes, and we'll start putting on our cheese. Now, if you saw earlier in the video, you'll know what we're using for cheese, but just in case you didn't, we're going to add two cheeses to these. We're going to add Havarti and we're going to add a mild cheddar. And you can go with the cheeses that you like. We like to have a little bit different cheese than the plain old American cheese we get on the burgers at the burger joint. Yuck. We just don't like that, so. Yeah. 
Fire is burning nice and hot. These won't take very long. Good, good stuff. All right. So we'll come back in just a minute once we get these flipped over. And we'll show you the cheesing and the end result. All right. Well, we're inside defrosting a little bit. I just stuck it in the cheat wave over there just to warm mine up a little bit to get that cheese melted again because it was getting cold out there. So I got mine set up. Pretty simple ketchup mustard pickle. Of course, Mrs. Barbecue will set hers up differently because she likes her onions and, you know, and more onions. And yeah, and we're gonna have just a little chip and dip and things like that with these. Excuse my bad camera angle. Take a look at that. She hasn't put hers on the bun yet, but there it is. So I'm gonna tear into one of these. <laughs> Why don't you set yours up while you're uh, while you're on taking a bite of mine? Let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Hello. Perfectly done, just a hair of pink in it. Mm. Very exciting. Wow. Man, you can taste that char on the outside just a little bit. Look at that cheese, ooey gooey cheese. Yeah, this is going to be the real test is what Mrs. Barbecue thinks when she gets to try hers. Got to have pickles. You got to have pickles. I mean, you can't have a burger without pickles. That's just not American, is it? Nope. You know? Nope. But maybe you don't like pickles, and that's okay. Um, uh, see, we she's. I know she likes her raw onions, so I made sure she got raw onions. I'm going to give you a big old kiss later. <laughs> Best thing about onions is they're very good for you. You sleep really good. You sleep alone, but you sleep really good. <laughs> Right? Of course, got to have ketchup and mustard. There you go. There we go. Here comes the test. Well, there's Scooby. She's the one that wanted to have burgers today. We froze to make these burgers. Doing out the crazy shopping. And now we'll see what she thinks. Mm. What do you think, Mama? Amazing. That's what you wanted, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, gang, Amazing. you've seen it there. There's two of the three ways that we've done burgers. And, of course... If you watch some of our other videos, you've seen how we smoke burgers as well, and that's fantastic. So in the meantime, we are going to, oh, I see the Danielle decided to join us, so she's going to have a burger too. In the meantime, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up, and we're going to eat, and we're going to enjoy the food that we made. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, everybody. We appreciate you being here. Hopefully this video gives you a little inspiration to try something. Gives you a couple ideas, and maybe instead of making the same old burgers, you can add some different flavors. It's something relatively simple and try it for yourselves so like share subscribe ring a dang bell notification comment below if you've got anything you'd like to say about this video otherwise we're gonna go get fatter thanks for joining us remember gang we can do this we know you can do it too have confidence in yourself give it a try take care everybody mm -mm.